Hi guys, and welcome back to another Let's Build episode. So last time we were finishing up the houses on the side of the church. Um, so all those nice houses looking over the bay. And in this episode, guys, we are going to get on to the castle, East Point's castle that we've got here with the final section of East Point. Now, if you guys are new to the channel at all, we do a lot of tutorials and time lapses just like this one. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, guys, if you're new to the series at all, I'll leave a link in the card above as well as the description to not only the full Let's Build Lord Support series, but also Let's Build Pataria series. So, guys, what I need you guys to help me with this episode, so make sure to post it in the comments once you've got some ideas and seen what we've actually got as a design. I need a name for this castle, so come up with a cool name, post it in the comments, and in the next episode I will announce who, what the actual name of the castle is and who actually won that. So yeah, in this episode what I want to do is do the entire layout of the castle because it's quite big. I've actually split this into, well, at the minute it's going to be probably a couple episodes. I actually don't know how long it's going to take me to build the castle, but it will take as long as it takes. So this one is all about building it. Um, I wanted to do something a little bit more challenging with it, so pretty much everything is on an angle. We've got, you know, circular towers because they're just a lot more defensive um, and because of the kind of shape of them. I always find that circular towers kind of look a little bit better, um, a little bit more modern. Now, right on the mouth of the actual bay opening, I wanted to put in quite a few of these like smaller areas here, these smaller circles. Because we have got cannon, it's a bit of a weird world with this. Um, although it's like medieval, we've got cannons because of the type of ships, the age of sail kind of ships. Um, so I do need to have some kind of cannon defenses, obviously. Back in the day, once kind of cannon came out, castles had to really change. You know, they could now be obliterated by cannon fire. But anyway, looking at the actual design itself, we've got a large barbican, which is at an angle, of course, because uh, why not make it make it a little bit challenging? Um, and then we've got this really, really large area. So I'm just putting in the curtain wall around here and also trying to come up with some designs around that kind of defensive point, that kind of choke point. So if you were an enemy ship and you were trying to get into the bay, you're going to get shot out before and also while you're going into the bay on either side. And what we'll probably do is when we finally get to it on the other side of this bay is do some similar defenses so that it's really quite an impregnable area. But there we go, lots of uh, kind of areas there. You can see that I did put in a kind of like a keep area, just a big box. But I've decided to actually change where this was. So this back wall in particular um, had a really nice area that I was thinking actually we can build the keep into this. So let's get rid of that tower because that's going to interfere with it. Going to have a very large square kind of keep. So it's going to actually look quite Norman. Um, and what I was trying to do is figure out how to do kind of little towers on the edges of this. Which was a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. On the side of the building here, we're actually going to have something like a kitchen. So it's something that's been tagged onto the side of the keep and has like a way in, like a smaller kind of door um, from that side. But there you go, you can see the path that I've also put in using orange wool. And we're just building up the towers. But the idea is that you'll go through the big barbican. If you can make it all the way through there, you then have to make your way along to the side here where we're going to have where we've got the bailey. And then from there, there's another set of gates or portcullises before you get into an inner bailey and then you can actually go into the keep, that's where the entrance is. So it's, you know, trying to make it as difficult as possible and especially with battering rams, things like this, they're not great about going around corners. So what you want to try and do is put in right angles, you want to make it difficult to actually get a battering ram through and all the way that they're trying to actually get it there, that you have maximum fire on your enemy if they do get into that area. So you can now just see me building up that curtain wall and these towers. We've got a really, really large tower as well. I wanted to make an absolutely huge, massive tower. What I wanted to do with this build in particular is that with Castle Grey Wharf, the whole kind of castle that started off this entire kind of let's build uh, of Lordsport, you know, that was quite a small castle. So what happened as part of the history of Lordsport is that they actually moved. So the king moved from that smaller castle. They needed more space. Although they could build up with that castle, um, it would have actually obviously pushed the ground underneath it into the ocean. So really, it's always going to be sinking a little bit. So they moved at some point. They decided to move to this area. So that's part of the law. Um, now, later down the line, we are going to build another castle on almost like an island that's just off of this. Um, which actually you can see right in the background now. That's where we're going to have the main castle here. So this one is still, you know, a full defensive 
uh, kind of place, but you know, it's been used, and um, yeah, I quite like it. I quite like the idea of having like this. It just makes sense to have these kind of defenses. So you can now see me building up this Barbican. I've kind of got an idea of how kind of big, long that we want it. We're gonna have lots of portcullises, multiple layers of defense. So if you get through one portcullis, it just you just move into another one, and you've then got murder holes above it, and you can have stones dropped on you, boiling hot water, those kind of things. Now just on the side here, we have actually got a hall, so this is something that got added afterwards. Because um, I would imagine that it would actually, you know, building building a hall into the side of the wall would be a bad thing. It kind of gives an opening. Um, so instead what's, what's ended up happening is the king, the lord, whoever was in charge of Lord's Port this time, um, they decided to, you know, knock through part of the wall to build a hall. So that's going to be the kind of entry. Uh, kind of entry hall, um, that kind of typical kind of throne room. It's got a really, really good view of the bay. That's actually why I ended up putting it in there. Um, it just kind of makes sense as that that being one of the focal points. And now, if you've actually got people that are going to be petitioning the lord or the king, um, that is where they'll be. Rather than having all of those peasants come into your main keep, uh, that is going to be the actual area instead. So it makes sense for it to be a separate building. But you can see me kind of like building up the walls. Again, I wanted to make sure that this is really quite a big castle. Um, so you'll kind of see that as we go through. So here we go. Here is the Barbican. That's the outer kind of defense, the gatehouse going in. And we're going to have lots of portcullises, layers of them here, as well as actual gates. You then get into this smaller area here. This is where we're going to have the kitchen. It's going to be a small gate onto there. And this is going to be like another, it's another bailey, but it will be the servant's bailey, I think we'll call it. That's going to have the kitchen's supply room, so you can actually get supplies into the castle. And they'll go straight there rather than go through the lord's kind of area. Um, I'm now wandering through the main bailey here, and we're going to have that hall. So that's going to be a hall where, um, you know, people can petition the lord, the king. Um, and again, it's got a really nice view going over. Then we get into the second kind of Barbican. It's a much smaller Barbican, the Little Barbican, and it probably would be given something like that, a nickname, um, but a smaller area into here that then goes into a smaller bailey, so the inner bailey. And this is where we have the main keep. So the main keep itself, like I was saying, are heavily influenced by kind of Norman styles of castle. Very, very large, very strong, very kind of square, but using it on an angle. And we've got such a massive area inside this with six towers on it in total and two of the smaller little ones. But anyway guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one.